Hi y'all. Welcome to Farm Girl Diaries. My name is Caitlin and this is my first video. I decided to start a YouTube channel because I wanted to share a lot of the knowledge that I've gained in the past couple years when it comes to gardening, when it comes to cooking, and when it comes to homesteading. And I think I have a unique uh, perspective almost when it comes to homesteading. I watch everybody else. I watch all the other YouTubers. I watch Root and Refuge and 1870s Homestead and Western Willow and Living Traditions and Justin Rose. I watch them all. And they build a, a desire and a passion in me to have what they have. I want the big farm. I want the animals. I want to be, you know, as self-sufficient as they are. I'm not there. I have a quarter of an acre and that's it. <laughs> I live in town. I'm not allowed to have animals. I'm not allowed to do a lot of things I want to do. But with that said, I've turned my waiting room into a classroom. I'm stealing from Roots and Refuge from Jessica Sowards, but I've turned my waiting room into a classroom. So while I'm waiting on the big farm, while I'm waiting on all the animals, I'm using what I have available to me right now to become a modern day homesteader. The idea of a lot of us having a ton of land to be able to grow and raise our own animals and have these massive gardens it's not really common anymore. A lot of people live in town just like me and you don't have a ton of space. But with that, I have about a 40 by 60 foot garden-ish. I'm bad with measurements. <laughs> but I have a decent sized garden. And with that, I can grow a ton of my own food. I think probably 95% of my produce that I eat is grown by me. A lot of the things I also buy at the store, my canned goods, I'm now starting to really grow myself. So things that you don't think about, like this year, one of my favorite ones was enchilada sauce. I made my own enchilada sauce. I made enchiladas for dinner just the other night. It was delicious. And it was 100% grown by me, by herbs and vegetables in my garden. So I'm saving the money on grocery store bills and I know exactly what's in it. So the drive that I have is to... One, I, I, just, I just love the idea of I made everything myself. But two, knowing what's in my food. I remember when COVID hit two years ago, everyone got into the bread making business. You know, we can't go anywhere, so let's make bread. And I was one of the people that made the bread. And I had a loaf of store-bought sandwich bread in my cabinet. And I was making loaf after loaf of my homemade bread. And a month or two would pass, and I, I had lost the sandwich bread in my messy cabinet. We're not going to judge the mess. This is going to be a real life YouTube video. <laughs> but I lost the loaf. I pulled the loaf out after like a month and a half. And it wasn't moldy. It wasn't moldy. It wasn't discolored. It wasn't hard. It was completely edible. I remember looking at it. Whereas my homemade bread would last maybe five days. And before it got moldy. And thinking what is in this bread that is going to stop it from molding. Then later on, probably last winter. Um... I think in the middle of a snowstorm, I got in my head, I want zucchini right now. So I went to the store, I bought zucchini, and I bought some cherry tomatoes. And I brought them home, and something happened, I didn't get to use them right away. It was like two days later. And the, the fruit themselves were still solid. They were hard. They weren't soft, they weren't brown, they weren't bruised. They were still firm. But there was white mold growing on the outside of both my zucchini and my tomatoes and they weren't touching they were in separate containers but there's white mold growing on the surface I remember looking at this I'm like this is not how organic vegetables mold my zucchini and my tomatoes they get soft they get brown they get wrinkly and then they mold but they don't mold when the integrity of the fruit is still there so all of these things have just been building in my mind and I really want to try to cut out preservatives as much as I can, which is why I call myself a modern day homesteader. I have a quarter acre of a lot, but with that, I can grow a ton of my own food. I can turn it into a ton of different things, condiments, sauces, vegetables, relishes, all these different things that I use in my everyday life. And I know exactly what's in them. So I've really kind of cut it out a lot of the preservatives that I put into my body. Now, don't get me wrong. I still go out to eat. I still go to friends' houses. I'm not going to go to a friend's house and be like, Ugh, did you buy that bread at a grocery store? No. But when it comes to what I feed myself in my house, what I bring into my house, I really want to try to make it as organic and as safe as possible. So 
that is the mission behind what I have chosen to do. And now I'm trying to go and bring it to a broader audience. Um, I do have an Instagram and I have interacted with enough people on Instagram that I love the conversations. I love the comments. And I love getting to like interact and talk about my passion. So I thought this would be another great way to talk about my passion and then interact with other people, see what other people are doing. What can I do to change what I'm currently doing and maybe do better? So I'm really excited about this. I do have a lot of big plans. So I thought I would just take this really quick video to talk about what I think I want this uh, channel to be and where I want it to go. So I want to get started right off the bat with a sourdough series. And I'm really excited about this. I talk about my bread making and bread making is something I'm very passionate about. I love it. I think it's so fun. You, when you get a gorgeous loaf of bread, you can't beat it. It just fills you <laughs> with such a passion. So I'm so excited about it. Uh, so I am going to do an entire sourdough series. We're going to talk about how to make a sourdough starter. And then we're going to give a lot of different recipes. None of these are mine. I'm going to make sure I cite all of them so you can actually go buy the cookbooks that you um, that I reference. And then you can make all the breads in them. But we're going to make a lot of different breads that are one day breads. So a lot of sourdoughs take, you know, two sometimes two days of constant attention whereas I like the breads I have a full-time job I can whip it up in the morning I can come home that evening and I can bake it and I have a couple of recipes for successful breads where you can do that so I'm going to share them so we're going to do an entire sourdough series about these different breads how to do everything so if you are interested in how to do sourdough if you're new to sourdough this is the videos or these are the videos that you're going to want to make sure you pay attention to I'm also, we're getting right into seed start in time. So I'm also going to be doing a whole series on how to start your seeds. Um, what I've learned, I've watched all the big guys. I Again, I've, I just listed all of the podcasts or the, the YouTube videos that I watch too. I watch them all and I love them. But every person makes their own mistakes. And I have made my own mistakes that I feel like other people should know about so they don't get repeated. Uh, so we're going to talk about seed start. And we're also going to talk about with that the importance of making mistakes and the importance of learning from your own mistakes. Um, I don't think any mistake is a failure. I don't think any mistake should be a, oh, I'm not going to do this anymore because I, I screwed it up. There is value, incredible value when somebody makes a mistake. And I want us to make sure that we focus on that. We talk about that and, and how we're going to apply that to homestead and to everything that we're doing here on the homestead. We're also going to be just doing a ton of cooking videos all of the things that I canned from last year's garden, all the things that I make homemade here. We're gonna talk about all of these things. I'm gonna be telling you guys how I do everything. I think we're gonna have a really great time. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of this. We're gonna get started with the sourdough series in just a couple of days. And I really hope you guys like it. If you guys have any comments, um, ideas or advice, I would love to hear them, comment below.